Montreal, we have a number of landmarks. We have St. Joseph's Oratory, we have the Olympic Stadium, of course we have Schwartz's Deli, and then we have the Five Roses sign. Everyone in Montreal knows about this. Originally, it dates back to the 1940s, the heyday of the neon extravaganza. And neon, what a fascinating material it is. Way back in the 18th century, Henry Cavendish in England found that when he removed nitrogen and oxygen from air, although they didn't know at that time it was nitrogen and oxygen, there was a smidgen of some other gas left behind. He wasn't able to identify what that was. But in the late 1800s, William Ramsey and Lord Raleigh were able to liquefy air, remove nitrogen and oxygen from it totally, and found that there was a gas left behind. They called it argon. But it turned out that argon actually also was contaminated with smaller amounts of other gases. And one of those turned out to be neon. Well, neon acted in a very interesting way. When it was put into an evacuated tube, an electric potential was applied across that tube. It glowed a brilliant red color. And Ramsey described that in his uh, Nobel lecture. He received the Nobel Prize for discovering neon and other so-called inert or noble gases like xenon, xenon and, and, and krypton. Well, since that time, of course, neon has had many uses, especially in neon tubes. But there's something else. What's the connection between that sign up there and my cell phone? The cell phone, like computers, other electronic equipment, has all kinds of silicon chips in it. Now, believe it or not, those silicon chips are made with a laser etcher because you've got to have a particular design in that chip. And that laser requires neon to function. Now, why are we talking about this? Because more than 50% of all the neon that is made in the world comes from the Ukraine, or at least used to come from there, because Ukraine had a huge liquid air industry. Liquid air produces nitrogen that you need for fertilizer, it produces oxygen for the steel industry, and what is left behind are the inert gases like neon. And they would sell neon around the world. And that neon, in a very pure form, was and is used for the lasers to manufacture these chips. Well, now the war between Russia and Ukraine has devastated that country and has devastated the industry. And as you can imagine, the computer industry, the cell phone industry is in a frenzy because they can't get enough of those uh, chips because there just isn't enough neon for the lasers. So there you have the fascinating story and the connection between that iconic sign that we have in Montreal and your cell phone. And that connection is through neon.